Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today me and Storm are going to walk through these weed, uh, woods that you see behind me and we're going looking for some old ruins which actually used to be able to be to do with this farm and it used to be something to do with the old water wheel here which hasn't run for years and the ruins themselves are hundreds of years old uh, and in all five years of me working here I've never tried to get up here it's so dense and that's why I've chose to do it this winter. Stormy, Tadley. Here, Storm. That'll do, that'll do. See how dense this woodland is, and it's just covered in moss and uh, in some parts lichen. So, a lot of this is old, like elder and things like that, which just grows pretty wild. So, trying to find a path through here can be pretty difficult. up ahead I can actually see some what I think is stonework so I think we're actually probably getting quite close to it it's just so thick that you have to sort of pick pick your way through and then you get to some bits and you find you actually can't get through and you have to go back and look for another way darling, darling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Steady. Storm, sit. That's me inside the building now, inside the ruin. So there's a couple of different rumours about what this is. The most likely one is it was some sort of pump house to pump the water from here, uh, from the the burn down there, all the way up to the farm. But this is quite a big building. Some of the other uh, rumours I heard was it was actually a, a kirk, which is a church in Scotland. guys that's us found it that's the first time i've ever been here 
looks pretty cool it's just a little stone ruin there's actually iron pins in the wall up there so that probably suggests it was something to do with the farm rather than a than a kirk there's metal pins up there and then when i was walking this way i noticed a sort of channel there's actually another metal pin i've just noticed sticking out here in this doorway but that was probably there's another one up there so it was probably something to do with this doorway storm that'll do Right behind me here, I don't know if you, it doesn't look that great in the camera because everything's just covered in moss, but if I move carefully, you see that big rock there has two metal pins in it as well. And then this would have been the back wall here along there of whatever this building was. And then you notice there's a really deep channel where a lot of the wall has fell into. So I would assume this probably was a pumping house and this is where the water would have collected. And then you can see some uh, stones which look like they've been a wall that's fallen this way heading back towards the farm that way pretty cool guys first time i've been down here it's so thick in here and there's so much moss and lichen in here because we get such a heavy rainfall and it's so sheltered and nice in here with all these different trees and a lot of a lot of different shrubs as well like i think this might be this is I'm not sure what these trees are. I know there's a lot of hawthorn and uh, elder in here as well. <coughs> but we're going to head back to the farm now, guys. So just a fun little video, but a cool one for me anyway. I enjoy this sort of stuff. So guys, just on the way back there, just as we're about to go into this clearing, the storm's away ahead of me here. Storm, that'll do. Uh, we just found a, what looks to be a roe deer skull. There's another, no, that's not a bone. That uh, is a piece of trash that is blown down here that's white. But the only piece of rubbish I've actually seen in here so far, which is pretty good. Yeah, storm, that'll do. But yeah, little roe deer skull. Looks like it's been there a while. Uh, covered in moss and things, even so it's turning brown on one side. I've got a hole in my welly, so I'm trying to avoid the wet bits, but Storm keeps taking me in. She's doing a grand job of leading us back to the farm, though. Storm! So guys, behind me here, I'll speak up so you can hear me over the burn. But an old strainer post, it's completely rotten in the middle. It's just this outside shell. But that tells us there was probably a fence line running along the banks of this burn at one time. So there you go. No other fence posts around. Just one singular strainer post telling us that there used to be a fence. Did you just knock the camera tell me to get a move on? Go on now. Yeah, that'll eat. 